Greetings, Mason Storm here. Today we're going to be making a roasted cauliflower cream soup. It's quite easy to make, quite delicious. Let me show you how it's done. So I got a couple tablespoons of olive oil here, sliced onion, some chicken broth, cream, cubed potatoes, and florets of cauliflower. And now we can begin our roasting process. I'm going to be using a couple of sheet pans here. Sill mat on them so the stuff doesn't stick. If you don't have sill, go for the parchment or aluminum foil. It'll make your life a little bit easier. Although bare metal isn't generally too bad. We just want to have a good dispersion so that everything is nice and flat. Drizzle a bunch of oil on the top. A little bit of salt and pepper goes a long way to enhancing the flavor. And then we throw it in the oven. I usually go for about 350 degrees for about half an hour. That seems to be a good amount of roasting. Once our roasting is completed, you might want to even roast it a little bit more than I did here. We're simply going to take the vegetables off of the trays and add them into our pot. Then we can take our pot over to the stove and I'm actually going to add some broth to it. I'm going to add about a liter or a full box of broth. I think that is kind of about the right amount. It's not quite enough to fully cover everything, but that's okay. And now we'll crank the heat on, go for about a medium heat. And we're just gonna cook this for about 10 minutes before we uh, get out the old immersion blender to blend it up and make it all nice and smooth. The other thing that you could do if you don't have an immersion blender would be to use a conventional blender or a food processor. You might have to let it cool off and then blend it and then you can throw it back in. But once it's all good and blended up, we can move on to adding our cream into it. This will really enhance the cream factor. And of course, at this point in time as well, we should add in our salt or add in some salt. Also, as you can see in the footage here, it's kind of boiling away. My temperature is too hot. That's not a good thing. You don't really want your soup to boil. You want it to just be hot. If it's boiling, you know, you might get some stuff on the bottom and that's never good. So let's add some more seasoning. I got some black pepper, paprika, and cayenne pepper, a teaspoon of each, and a cup or cup and a half of cheddar cheese. I should mention too that uh, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper was a little bit more spicy than I anticipated, so maybe half a teaspoon might be a little bit better. And then we'll simply add that all in and give her the old stirring mechanism. And probably just turn the heat rate off at this point in time. I was kind of losing control of it because it just got too warm there. Um, pay attention to your soup, maybe. Either way, there we go. We have ourselves some nice soup. I thought it was pretty good. You can really mix it up with what kind of spices you want to use with it. But as far as making a simple cauliflower, roasted cauliflower soup goes, I think this is pretty easy and pretty delicious. So I like that. Now when I'm serving it up, I like to have it with a little bit of sour cream, maybe a little chives on top, but I think my chives went bad because I forgot to use them, so I have to get more. Probably on my second bowl the next day, I'll do that, but the sour cream definitely takes it to the next level. If you got any tips or tricks for making this type of soup, let me know in the comments below. I'm always trying to improve. And if you like my content, please like and subscribe. Till next time, stay awesome.